Hello Potato! Welcome to Day 2 of Just Add Water Week. Yesterday we started out in the Philippines with Champarado, a chocolate rice porridge, uh, which taught me to make sure that I put the plastic down for the rest of Just Add Water Week. Uh, today we're going to move on to Thailand to try yummy spicy rice soup with seaweed. Now on the side here it says in very small print, Im Aun Spicy Instant Rice Soup with Seafood, but I don't know if that's a proper name or, or what that is. I can tell you that I can't find any reference to this dish being an actual dish other than through reference to Fashion Foods, the manufacturer of it. And I can also tell you that the uh, packaging is the kind of whole reason I bought this one. I like that it came in a little bowl. Uh, it surprised me a little bit to find out that it is a microwave one. It's the only thing this week that actually does require the microwave, unless I have woefully misread the instructions on the other three items. And also, apparently the lid doesn't stay on while you microwave it. So I'm not sure what the lid's for. I guess to just put on it when you're, like, going to serve it to somebody, or keep it warm while you're making a second one. Uh, the ingredients on it are pretty straightforward. Where are they? There you go in teeny tiny little print. Uh, says to put all ingredients in bowl following by water, 350 cubic centimeters. It's about a cup and a half. Uh, microwave the uncovered lid at height 700 watts, four minutes, ready to serve. So this is a 1200 watt microwave, so I'm going to power it down to I think about mm, level six to hopefully not just burn this. But let's open it up first and see what is in it, what we have to put in the bowl. And I know it says to microwave the uncovered lid. I'm going to assume that means to microwave it without the lid on it. Not just actually microwave the lid itself. So, yep, we got a little bowl. That is very puffy. Sounds like it's our rice. Oh, look, it comes with a little spoon. I don't need to go get a little spoon. It comes with one. It's got the chili oil. Nice. That'll get all over the paper, or the tablecloth, if I didn't have a plastic down. Some sort of seasoning packet. And yep, we don't have we don't have the uh, the actual crab claw they show on the picture there, but we do have some crab flakes. All right, so let's put everything in. Be careful opening this because this kind of feels like it could blow rice everywhere. Can we let the pressure off, maybe? There we go. Okay. I wonder if that happened in transit. Because I know, like, you know, you go up the mountain and a bag of chips will absolutely poof up like that. So, huh. I was kind of expecting some sort of instant rice kind of look like yesterday. And we have that, but it's, it's very, very fine and very powdery. Maybe the air pressure crushed it up a bit. Right. So it does say to put everything in. I would think you'd want to at least leave the chili oil out to last, but nope. Alright, here's our... What's this smell like? Mmm, that smells spicy. Let's get a little taste of it. Just kind of an orangish color, not, not frighteningly red. No, it's not insanely spicy, but there is spice there. It just kind of caught me wrong. Um, very salty, of course, to be expected. Uh, this does not have, which is unusual, it doesn't have like an American nutrition label stuck on it, really. I mean, it's sort of there, but it's so tiny. Uh, 170 calories per serving, serving is one bowl. It's our sodium. 75% of your daily sodium. So like most of these instant things, it is absolutely atrocious on sodium. Let's add our little seafood bits. Can we see what seafood is supposed to be in this? Um, I saw ingredients on there somewhere. Here we go. Dried rice, iodized salt. Salt is the second ingredient. Well, that's... That stands to reason. Wow, this does smell very fragrant of seafood now. Shrimp powder, chili powder, dried onion, imitation crab stick, dried carrot, seaweed, flavor enhancer, also MSG. Um, 
So I guess the crab stick is the wheat gluten, soybean, fish, shrimp, crab, may be contained. All right. So yeah, we can see, looks like we have some uh, either onion or seaweed there. Got our imitation crab stick. Let's add in our oil, because that's probably where the real heat is. Drizzle that all in. And then we will add our water. It's a fair amount of water for such a small thing, but I guess it's gonna bring it up right up above about that fill line. Yeah. This thing doesn't have cubic centimeters on it, does it? No, it doesn't. Oh, it does! It does! I didn't need to convert it. I could have just read this thing. Ah, oh, I've never I've never measured anything out in cubic centimeters before. Because I'm American. And we don't do that here. I really feel like the lid should be on this, you know? Like I should be steaming that rice, but I guess there was no lid yesterday on the champarado, and that was rice too. Alright, so I'm gonna set this at power level six for four minutes, and I'll see you in four minutes. All right, our time is up, and I have to say, it actually smells really really good in here that's this is probably the best smelling thing i've made in the void space but does it taste as good as it smells well it doesn't seem the rice has soaked up much of the liquid but then again it is soup so maybe it's not supposed to Ooh, it's very very hot imagine that so i think it's just been microwaved four minutes it's very very hot Now, I'm a little curious because it says ready in five minutes, but it only cooks for four minutes and it doesn't say to let it sit. Because I would think like maybe you'd want to, you know, let it sit for a minute and let the rice soak up more of the liquid. I don't know. But to me, I mean, it seems like that would be the way to go on this, but that's not what it says to do. And again, it said, you know, to cook this uncovered, which I don't... I'm assuming that is just mistranslation. Alright, there's our soup, which I've just dropped my spoon into, so that's lovely. The uh, crab doesn't seem to have really rehydrated all that much, but the seaweed certainly does. And there's a good amount of rice in there. I mean, it's not... I was expecting it something a little bit thicker, but I was expecting that yesterday as well with the porridge. And again, this is soup. So, I mean, there should theoretically be a fair amount of liquid. Let's try that liquid. And let's give it a sniff. Mmm, smells, smells of lime a little bit. It smells citrusy. Yeah, it burns the throat a little bit. I get, maybe this is... Maybe that's not seaweed. Because it really... Tastes strongly of citrus to me. You know, I didn't see any citrus listed on the uh, ingredients. Let's get a little rice in there, get a little bit of the crab stick. Get you a good look at that. All right, let's try it as a whole. That is actually quite good. I don't see where the lime flavor is coming from. I, I am tasting like citrus, like lime. Specifically lime. And I don't... I don't see anything in here that would count for that. That's weird. I mean, I guess it could be the seaweed for some reason. Dried onion, imitation crab, dried carrot, seaweed, shrimp powder, chili powder. Yeah, there's nothing in here that to me seems like it should create a lime flavor. But this is actually quite good. I will probably get this one again. I mean, even more so than the champarado. I'm actually kind of intrigued now to maybe try to make my own champarado. This, not so much. I don't see how I could make this.
but a little carrot that time. Yeah, so I think some of the things I thought were a crab stick were also actually carrot. Because dried out, they look about the same. But yeah, this is actually quite, quite good. I recommend this. Uh, this was Fashion Foods Limited Yummy Spicy Rice Soup with Seafood. Which is, of course, totally out of focus because I have it way too close to the camera because I'm zoomed in on the soup. But yeah, I, I encourage you to try this one out if you happen to have a store near you that sells these. It's a little spicy. It's not super spicy. It's not, it's not as hot as, say, those Samyang hot chicken-flavored noodles I tried. Those are pretty hot, uh, especially the more of them you eat. But no, this, it's got a little bit of that oil in it, so I mean, it's probably going to get hotter as I eat it, and it's going to stick to my lips a little bit. But this is quite good. And I rather expect if I let it sit for a little bit with the lid on... Let that, let that rice soak up more of that uh, broth. It may get even better. So I hope you found this interesting. If you did, please remember to give this video a like. And don't forget to come back tomorrow to see day three of Just Add Water Week. Where we're going to try Samyang Curry Hot Chicken Flavored Ramen. Don't forget to come back then. And please make sure you are subscribed to the channel and you ring the little bell. And I will see you tomorrow for hot chicken flavor curry.